everyone, Kelsey from TC Fit. Thank you for joining me. This is Gratitude Yoga Part 4 today. Um, so let's go ahead and take it down onto your mat. We're going to start in a child's pose. So open up your knee stance, feet together, and then sit your hips back towards your heels. And then depending on how your body's feeling right now, you always have a great option of stacking your hands on top of one another to create a pillow for your forehead. Or you can rest your forehead down fully onto your mat and extend your arms. Here we're just focusing on your breath work. We're inhaling in and big exhales out. With every exhale, just surrendering into your mat and allowing yourself to sink a little bit deeper into your pose. A few reminders for class today, you always have the option to flow with me or you can stay in a pose if you'd rather not flow. Modify any pose or movement as you see fit. Two more breaths. And good. Let's bring yourself up to your mat. It's finding a four-point kneeling position. And we're going into a cat cow. So shoulders stacked over your wrist, knees under your hips. Let's inhale, let your belly hang. And then exhale, flex and tuck under. Inhale, let your belly hang. Exhale, flex and tuck. So just movement through your spine here. Draw your chin towards your chest. Shoulder blades draw together on your cow. And then they press further away from one another on the cat. Let's go one more cow cat. And good. Meet me in a, a long neutral spine. Let's extend your left leg behind you. And just keep your hands planted for the moment but left leg is reaching behind you. Now, take note if you're rotating up or down, keep your hip bones square to your mat. Picture headlights on your hip bones pointing straight down. So your leg is just in line with your spine, engaging your glute. Big reach and lengthen. Now take an inhale, exhale, tuck under, knee draws into your nose, flexing your spine, and then inhale, reach back out to neutral. Exhale, flexing under, knee to nose, and then inhale, reaching back. So just like thinking of your cat motion, your spine is moving into your flexion, but then you just return back to your long neutral. Five more here, gang. Nice strong glute as you reach behind. Four. Three. Two. Good, one more. And then hold your left leg out now. Invite your right arm to join it. Reach your right arm up and away. You're flying through the air. If you want more of a balance challenge, close your eyes. Your left glute should be feeling nice and warm and fuzzy. Eight, seven, six, four, three. And rest it down, gang. Good, find your child's pose, sitting back. And so every time we return to a pose, just sink a little bit deeper into it if you're able to, just to the point of tension, not to pain. Focusing on your breath here again. Good, and when you're ready, let's come back up to your four-point kneeling. And this time, reach your right leg behind. Hips square again, your headlights facing down to your mat. Elbows are soft, fingers are fanned out. Body's in one long line, now squeeze your glutes, squeeze your butt. Belly button drawn in. Four, three, two. Take an inhale on your exhale, tuck under, knee to nose, flex your spine, and then inhale, returning back out. Exhale, under. Inhale, lengthen out. Just move with your breath here, gang. Doing a little crunch action and working on your glute on your extension. Five more. 
four, three, two, last crunch, knee to nose, and then reach it out. Keep your body in one long line. Left arm is joining. Reach your left arm where your right leg is reaching behind you. Option to close your eyes, find good balance and support. You got it. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, and rest it down. Finding child's pose one more time, sinking back. <sighs> Big deep breaths. Let your chest gravitate towards the floor. Hips sink back towards your heels. Okay, let's shift ourselves forward. Staying onto your forearms here, we're gonna take it into a forearm plank. So option one is to remain on your knees with your body in one long line. Otherwise, option two, curl your toes under and then extend your knees up. So either way, your body's in one long line. If you wanna make it harder, walk your feet closer together. If you wanna make it easier, a little bit easier, a wider base of support. So a wide foot stance. Inhales, exhales, drawing your belly button in and then pull your shoulders away from your ears. Good, keep breathing. Keep breathing good and strong. Neck is in line with the rest of your spine. Eight more counts here in our plank. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two. Good, bend your knees down. Bring yourself up to your tabletop position. And then curl your toes under, extend your upper, your backside up, and we find down dog. So pressing back, chest falling to the floor, ears in line with your biceps, hips reaching high, fingers fanned out, and your wrists are straight. You can always pedal through your knees here if you like, bending and extending, allowing your opposite heel to sink to the floor just a little bit deeper. breaths <clears throat> and then quiet your legs keep your left foot planted pick up your right foot three-legged dog reach it high hold it here and now step your right foot through stay on the ball of your left foot and then rise up for a high crescent lunge so make sure you can see your toes in front of your right knee let your hips sink down and draw forward and then your eye gaze goes slightly upward, lifting your sternum and your chest. Good. Active through your right leg and through your right glute. Now, when you're ready, hinge yourself forward. Reach your arms along with it. Lift and take off. We're finding warrior three. Just like before, keep your hips square to your mat. Headlight shining down to the floor. Finding good balance, hold. Four, three, two, and then set your left foot back down gently, finding your high crescent lunge again. Good job. Now draw hands to heart center. Step your left foot in. We're gonna find chair pose. So sink your knees and ankles together, and then sink down. Now option to keep your hands at heart or reach your arms forward. I'm gonna invite you to a little challenge. Try to lift your heels off the floor. Lift your heels off the floor. Find a focal point, squeeze your knees together, gang. You can do it. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two. Set your heels down, inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, swan dive into a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold, hands set down, step or hop back to your plank. Take an inhale, exhale, lower yourself down. Inhale, cobra or up dog. And then exhale, press up and back, stay in your down dog. A few breaths here, check in your form. Ears by your biceps, pressing back. 
quiet your legs if you're pedaling. Keep your right foot planted, pick up your left, reach it high. Keeping our wrists straight. And step your left foot through. Stay on the ball of your right foot, press and rise up. High crescent lunge. Sinking your hips down, can you see your toes? Toe check. Lift your hips, lift your sternum. Good. Moving into warrior three, hinge yourself forward, reach your arms, lift and take off. Keep your hips nice and square to the floor. Belly button drawn in, glutes engaged to support your low back. Four, three, two, and then gently float yourself back down, finding your high crescent lunge. Good job. Let's draw your hands to heart center. Step your back foot in, sink into chair pose. Option to keep your hands here or reach your arms. Zip your knees and ankles together and then float your heels off, coming up to the balls of your feet. Intent gaze ahead. Focus, focus. Four, three, two, set your heels down. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, down to a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, hands down. Step or hop back to plank. Inhale at the top. Exhale, lower down. Cobra or up dog. Press up and back, stay in your down dog. Good, breathe. Hips are reaching high. Quiet your legs. Left foot stays, pick up your right. Reach. And then step your right foot through. Stay on the ball of your left leg and then lift and rise up, high lunge. Now can you sink a little bit deeper than you were able to before? Really work. And then hinge your upper half forward. Lift and take off. Warrior three, flying through the air. Bodies in one long line. Four, three, Two, float your left foot back down. High crescent lunge, lift your chest. Draw hands to heart, step your foot in. Sink down into chair. Remember your arm choices. Rise the heels up. You're on the balls of your feet. Squeeze your knees together. Eight, seven, six, awesome work. Four, float your heels down. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, swan dive, hinging forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, hands down, step or hop back to plank. Inhale, and exhale, lower down. Cobra, up dog. Find down dog and stay here. Breathe. Right foot stays planted. Pick up your left, reach it high. Big reach and step it through. Rise up, high crescent lunge, sink low. Lift your heart and then hinge your upper half forward. Lift and take off, warrior three. Eye gaze right down to the floor, something to focus on. Find it, find it. Four, three, two, float your right foot down. High lunge. Lift up, draw hands to heart, step into your chair, sink down, heels lift off, hold and breathe, eight, six, four, set your heels down, inhale, reach up, exhale, swan dive down, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, set your hands down, step back, plank, flow, lower down, cobra, up dog, press up and back, stay here in your down dog. Good job, gang. We're going to go through this one more time, speeding it up just a little bit. Keep your left foot planted, pick up your right, and step it through. Rise up, high lunge, lift, hinge forward, take off, warrior three. 
and float your back foot down. Rise up, lift your sternum. Draw hands to heart, step in, sink down for chair, float your heels off. Four, three, two, heels go down. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, hands down, step or hop back. Option to flow. Remember, you always have that choice. And then down dog, stay here. Pick up your left foot, reach it high, and step it through. Rise up, high crescent lunge. Hinge forward, lift and take off. Hips are square to the floor. Float your right foot back down. High crescent, reach. Draw hands to heart, step into chair. Sink down, lift your heels. Four, three, two, heels go down. Inhale, arms lift up. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, half lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold, hands down, step or hop back. Plank and option to flow. And then pause in your down dog. Whew, good job. We are now moving into our gratitude yoga sequence. The sequence that we've been doing on a weekly basis. So when you're ready, go ahead and step your right foot through, drop your back heel, and then lift up, finding warrior one. So hips are square, your heel is planted against the floor, and you should feel a lovely stretch through the back of your left leg here. Now bring your hands back behind, clasp your fingers, inhale, and then exhale, we're gonna bow down, surrendering. Actively reaching your fingertips up towards the ceiling, keeping your left heel planted. A few more breaths. Release your hands, float them down to the floor, step your left foot in, Staggered stance, knees and toes are facing forward. Flip your hands up so your palms are against the floor and allow your chin to, to fall towards your chest. Now you can softly bend your knees as well. And just let your worries roll down your spine. And good, bend your knees, set your hands down, step back to your down dog. Step back to your down dog. Let's step your left foot forward, drop your right heel, lift up, finding more warrior one here at first. Keeping your right heel planted. Reach your arms behind you, clasp your fingers, take an inhale, and then exhale, we bow down. Go as low as you'd like here, gang. Everybody is different. Reach your fingertips towards the ceiling. Keep your heel planted. Breathe. Four. And release your hands. Set them down on the floor. Step your back foot in. Knees and toes facing ahead. Flip your palms up. Allow your chin to fall towards your chest and everything's just rolling off your spine. Rolling away. Breathe. Four. Good, bend your knees, set your hands down, step back to plank, option to flow with me here. Take an inhale, exhale, lower down. Cobra or up dog, press up and back. One more time if you like, inhale forward, exhale lower, cobra up dog, press up and back, stay here. We're gonna go through those two one more time on each side. Let's step your right foot through, drop your back heel, lift and rise up, warrior one. So your back foot is slightly angled. Clasp your fingertips behind, take an inhale, and then exhale, forward fold. Surrendering, bowing down. Allow your chin to fall towards your chest. Reach your hands up. Relax your shoulders. Four, three, 
to unclasp your hands, set them down, hop your back foot in a little, knees and toes facing forward, flip your palms up, allow your chin to fall towards your chest, soften your knees as needed, everybody is different. And bend your knees a little, set your hands down, step back to your plank, excuse me, down dog. A few breaths here. And step your left foot through. Drop your right heel, lift up, warrior one. Adjust anything as needed. And then bring your hands behind you, clasp them together, take an inhale, and exhale, we bow down. Reach your hands upward, peeling apart. Good job. And release your hands, set them down on the floor. Step your back foot in a little, staggered stance. Flip your palms up, chin fall towards your chest. Think of this as like an intense uh, pyramid type pose. Really bringing ourselves down. Three, two, good. And now let's take your um, <clears throat> foot stance wider. And you can have knees and toes facing out. Think of a yogi squat, garland pose. So you're sinking down. You can go as low as you'd like and actively press your elbows into your knees. So focusing on our heart, inner thighs. Good. It works better for me to have my knees and toes kind of turned out externally <clears throat> instead of parallel ahead and a wide stance also helps. Eight, six, good, four, and place your hands down. Let's find puppy pose, playful puppy. So you stay on your knees, stay on your shins, and then allow your chest to just sink down towards the floor. Now really actively reach your hands away from you and then reach your tailbone the opposite direction. Forehead just resting against the mat. Breathing. Good, let's gently bring yourself up. Lie down on your backside. Let's hug your knees in towards your chest. If it feels comfortable, you can rock side to side. And then pause in the center. Tuck your knees in a little bit more. Tuck your chin, roll yourself up and pull your knees in. Really tuck your chin. Hugging yourself, grateful for yourself, your healthy body. And release yourself down. Place your feet on the floor. Let's just lift up to a hip bridge. Squeeze your glutes, press actively um, shoulder blades into the floor. And let's rest your hips down. All right, reclining bound angle. Now, if this doesn't feel well for you, you can just go into a corpse pose, legs long with your palms facing up. Otherwise, have your feet on the floor. Either way, place one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly. And then if comfortable, allow your knees to splay out to the side. Remember, you can always prop your, have something underneath your knees, a yoga block or a big pillow. And here I want you to focus on your breath, breathing gratefulness and love into your body, filling you up and exhaling tension, stress. breathing here, just taking time to tune into your body. And when you're ready, draw your knees together. Roll onto your side. 
press yourself up to a seated position, whatever comfy seated position that might be for you. Let's go ear to shoulder on one side. So ear gently pressing down. And then same side, nose to armpit, a little bit deeper stretch through the back of your neck. And switch. Other side, ear to shoulder, gently. And nose to armpit. And sitting nice and tall, let's inhale, reach our arms up. Exhale, draw hands to heart. One more time, inhale, big reach. And exhale, hands to heart. Namaste, everyone. Thank you for joining me. Grateful for you and your participation. Enjoy the rest of your day.